right, good evening. Welcome to the NOAA Planning Board uh, meeting of April 22nd, 2019. We're in uh, room 12 of the town hall. Uh, first order of business is to approve the minutes from 4 8 19. Motion to approve. Second. Anything else on that? Nope. Seeing none. Put it to a vote. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. Okay, first up is a minor site plan approval. We have a sign for a kinetic dance studio, 611 Washington Street. Grant Gao? Yep. Excel signs. Good evening. Everybody grab their packet. Patrick, why don't you uh, give us a little rundown here what's happening? Yep. So the, uh, I believe the sign is replacing Norwood Lighting Center. Yep. And, um, you know, it is, as you look at it, it's a white vinyl on a um, orange fabric awning sign. Uh, same way how we go about judging these is um, looking at the dimensions of the graphic. So initially when I got it, the graphic came in a little bit larger than what our uh, zoning bylaw allows for. I let Grant know, and we do have appropriate renderings that have the uh, the graphic under 30 square feet in terms of uh, total area. Um, and, and other than that, I recommend approval based upon um, zoning bylaw 6.2, uh, 16.2. I have just one question, the, the color. Yes. It's, it's blue and it's orange. Is it, uh, is it, it's sun Pacific blue? It's not, oh. It That's says under the specifications, <laughs> Sunbrella Pacific Blue. Is yeah, that a be, color? It should be Tuscan. It was a uh, copy from uh, the next door's project, oh, and I, I did fix it on the, uh, on the so new So it's not room. orange? No, it is orange. It is orange. It is orange. It is orange. Yeah. yeah, I fixed Tuscan. it on the new drawing. Oh, okay. Tuscan. Yeah, so, yeah, there, Tuscan. Was, there were some uh, errors with the, the previous rendering, but okay. I picked Rano, and it's, All right. it was a minor yeah. fix. Okay. Yeah. And that umbrella is like a waterproof kind of... Right, it's canvas. Supposedly doesn't lighten from the sun. And, <coughs> and there's awnings on the right next to you as well, right? Correct. Yeah. That's the one that was Pacific Blue. Yeah, okay. This is Homewood. Start us off. <laughs> um, I'm just going on record. I love that you're leaving an awning. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it, if we are working on a new sign bylaw, slowly, mm -hmm. slowly, like pushing a rock up a hill. So I, for one, am thrilled that you're leaving it an awning. I think it is much nicer than the sign stuck on the building. Yes. Thank you. Are you the sign guy or the I'm a sign store guy. dance guy? Yeah, I'm the sign guy. Okay. All right. That, that's all. But I've you got. can dance. Can you dance? I'll, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's all I have. Thank Anyone you. Anyone else? I'm, I'm good. I'm Rob? Good. I'm good. Okay, it, uh, I'm fine. It, uh, planner so gives. motion to approve? I am. Then I'll do that. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. <coughs> Anything else on the motion? Seeing none. One, one quick. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Are, are there lights over it? I don't remember. Do we have the. No, there's no lighting. You're not going to put any lighting? Okay. No. I, okay. Anything else on the motion? No. Seeing none, we'll put it to a vote. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. 5 0. Thank you. Thank you very much. Got to just check yeah, with Patrick. So I will, uh, I would email it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Email it. Uh, yeah, email me. All right. Yeah. I think just bring it in and go through the building department. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. No problem. Go for it. Okay. Are we at 710 yet? No, not quite. Not quite, minutes, okay. So. Um, Other business? Other business? Yeah, that's what I'm looking. Uh, is there anything we can, you can want to bang off in a couple of minutes? Uh, I guess we'll just get a quick Forbes Hill update. Yeah, Unfortunately, sure. I'm sorry, I don't have a, uh, a memo on it, but uh, the, uh, I believe it was April, yep. Oh, we got it from before, okay, so. We had four submissions um, uh, from Pewitt Homes for $6.4 million. That bid was flat out um, rejected, rejected because it did not meet the minimum requirement. Uh, Maple Multiplex was for $11 million. That's a multifamily housing proposal. 
Uh, Dr. Feliz, a medical facility complex, was for $13 million. And then Garden Homes, uh, which I believe they're out of New Jersey, had a proposal for $21 million. Um, this is a multifamily proposal that they proposed over um, what we, I guess, we initially uh, put in the RFP. They proposed 13, uh, they proposed 300 residential units as opposed to 175, which is what the maximum we set for. Oh, um, 175, right? 175, yep. yep. <clears throat> and so uh, I haven't been on the meetings in terms of uh, the selectmen, and I know Paul and Tony, uh, uh, the manager, uh, Tim Zuko has been involved with. Um, I think they came down to basically the Maple Multiplex and then the medical facility. They did. I can um, fill you in on that. So yeah. I believe those are the two ones that are where they're at. and They're being vetted. Yeah, and I would cautiously say I would think doc, the medical facility would be the option that they would prefer, but I have not been part of those meetings. They are, they, that one yeah. meets all the criteria that was set forward. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, the one for 300 units, he's coming in at, what, $21 million? $21 million. But it's, it's way out of the... the uh, scope of the RFP. Yeah. Uh, you couldn't accept it if you wanted to. We'd have to re redo the bylaw. We'd have to redo the whole zoning. Yep. Um, and we can't, we're not going to wait for any more offers? Leave it out there? It's nope. the bids, uh, there's a closing date for the bids. When you put on an RFP, you have, a, all bids have to be submitted by April 8th. So you, And if you don't take any of them, you just put it back out there? You can. You can, yep. you yeah. can yes. The yes, thing. there's yeah. no, there's no, uh, stipulation that you have to take any of these. Okay. Uh, but they they will tell you that you know if you get some bids that are within the the Forbes Hill Task Force set up a a, a Excel a spreadsheet kind of thing with criteria and you know commercial was worth so many points housing you know over fifty five there are all kinds of criteria that we laid out and it, it seems that the the doctor uh, I'm not going to speak for the selectman or anything else is, is yeah. the one, but both I think two were being vetted, and uh, if I could judge this real quick on the um, $11 million one, um, oh, that wasn't the Davis group coming back. Was that the Davis group coming back in at 11? No. I no, mean, that was somebody uh, else, yeah. yeah. Um, so though right now, those are the two that are being vetted. Paul so would they, probably be better to speak to that, but yeah, yeah, in terms of I think the the doctor police one is more favorable. But there's probably a lot, a lot of details they have to look at, make sure they gonna, they got a yeah. the credit, the money that you know it's the proposal. What you know, there's still still a long way to go, but okay. at least we got uh, some bids in there that were uh, yeah. what the town wanted. Absolutely. Okay. Um, all right, we're at 710, and we have a public hearing, major project special permit modification, 95 Moore Street, Mike Clemmy, Bach Automotive, James Soucy, United Consultants. This is a public hearing, so we have to have the clerk read the notice. Do you have a... Guess what I'm not earning. Huh? I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm kidding. Oh. You were the clerk when we were <coughs> We were the you were the clerk. Uh, pursuant to Mass Law Chapter 40A, Section 9, and the Norwood Zoning Bylaw Section 7.4 Major Project Special Permit, and Section 13.1G Wholesale Business and Storage, three open lot storage, the Norwood Planning Board will hold a public hearing on Monday, April 22nd. 2019 at 7:10 p.m. in room 12 of Norwood Town Hall, 566 The Hunt Street, Norwood, Mass. The purpose of the public hearing is to accept comments on the modification to the major project special permit and site plan approval decision. This request was submitted by Subaru of New England for 95 Morris Street. The proposed modification is to eliminate the special permit modification approved by the planning board on October 30th, 2018. That amended that amended decision to General Condition 12 will be returned to the original General Condition, which stated, auto carrier trucks are not allowed on the property. All ca cars shall be driven on and off the property individually. The subject property is shown on the Norwood Assessor's Map as Map 15, Block 12A, Lot 3, Map 15, Block 12A, Lot 4, 
map 15, block 12A, lot 5, map 15, block 12A, lot 6, and map 15, block 12A, lot 8. Plans and supporting materials of the proposed development are on file at the planning board and may be reviewed during more, uh, normal business hours. Ernie Pachikowski, Debbie Homewood Clark. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How are we doing, Mr. Susie? Good evening. Jim Susie with United Consultants. Why don't you fill us in what, what we're a, looking a to do here? Brief chronology to, to back up what Ms. Homewood just said. Uh, back in 2016, we were here for site plan approval and a special permit to demolish the building at 95 and turn it into a parking lot. Then last year, we came to you guys for a modification of that to allow for car carriers to be on this lot as part of the development for 84 Morse. Then last meeting, we were here with an A&R plan that uh, where are we now? Cut off this piece with the existing building, make that one lot, and then leave this storage. And again, the site plan for this is to have this section of or this lot now with the storage shown on it, basically conditions revert back to the original with vehicles have to be driven on and off the site by themselves. No car carriers allowed on the property. So you, in a nutshell, you, you want to revert back to the original To the decision. original plan you want to eliminate. So basically you're not going to, if we do that, you're not going to have to do any of that site work or uh, reopen up the, the you want to go back to the way it was. Just. You're going to unload the vehicles down the hill. Down at 12 -1. And you'll bring them up over the hill one at a time. That's correct. Either either to this lot or, or 84. 84. So that, I mean, that I think that uh, solves a lot of, uh, of a lot of problems that, that arised on that corner. Uh, I know that Mark Ryan, you know, went a whole bunch of mm -hmm. times. We went back and forth on width and turning radiuses and it is a you know a different and then you won't have to re rewiden because you're gonna have to rewiden your opening and eliminate some spaces and all of that so mm -hmm. uh, I mean this to me simplifies the plan doesn't uh, make makes it less that makes it less intrusive or whatever the word is that, I mean it, it, it reverts it back to the original plan so uh, I don't see anything, personally, I don't see anything wrong with it. We'll go around. Rob, do you, mm -hmm. uh, any questions on this, or? I'm looking at this and kind of asking why, but I guess it, it just kind of makes sense. Uh, well, you can ask why. You can. Yeah, I guess I could ask why. <laughs> why aren't we going forward with the uh, plan as of the last... Um, I like believe Mr. Clummy can answer that. I know Michael Clummy, Silver in New England, is after uh, much thought. We figured it'd be much better for we're loading the cars at 1201. The DCD is right now, so they're going to continue doing that. They have the operations down there to modify this plan, the lot, cars up the street. So we're just going to keep unloading them at 1201 because they have all the um, room to do that. And then over here, we, we did. Uh, Where's your A and R plan? And so we just we took this and did an A and R. So this is going to be uh, eight ten Pleasant Street now, and this is going to be ninety five Moore Street. So this is just strictly storage, and this is going to be, you know, a building with some little storage out back. And so we just didn't want to do it. And then um, I talked to Paul, and Paul says if I'm not going to do it since I did the A and R plan. He wanted me to come back into the board and clean it up and just uh, clean up the lot so you're not going to do the car carriers there, which we're not. So it just it cleans up the paperwork, I guess. Okay. All right. Al, any? Is there some sort of barrier between the storage lot and the back lot? That dark black line? Right here? Of, this is the chain link fence? Is that what that is? Okay. Yeah, we're yeah. fence here with some gates in it. And then okay. there's a you know, fence along the... Super New England building, so this this area will be 
entirely fenced in with three entrances as it was before um, yes yeah, one, two, one, no, no, no. One, two, three, four. No, that's, no. that's okay, yours. So we have three entrances here. Three, one off Pleasant, two off of Morse. Which okay. is the, what's there now, right? Correct. Yeah. And, uh, nothing. Right. The only thing is going to change is right here, this fence with a, um, with a gate in it. Yeah. So basically, you're not gonna, no car carriers are going to be going up the hill? No. Nope. That's like a good thing, I think. Absolutely. I'm good. Mrs. Homewood. Um, to, to piggyback on to Rob's why we couldn't do this before we couldn't drive the cars up the hill before and now we can no we could drive the cars up before but it was kind of the whole thing is use that piece of property for 84 moore street we can be fine down at 1201 just a different business plan per se and a lot of renovations up here the neighbors with the with the car carries we figured it'd be just best to keep everything down at 1201 at Newview, as they're currently doing today. Right, which is, we and went round and round in circles to do that and I, and two I, years I, ago. I, I um, apologize for wasting the board's time, my time, everyone's time. It's a Your money. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a um, different business plan now, figuring that, you know, that's a, a lot of work to get that done. Okay. Is that because of different ownership? Well, DCD owns it, owns uh, 84, and um, they rent out the parking lot in the front. But then okay. we just, it's, a different, it's a different game plan. Doing the cars there, the car carries, all the modifications, et cetera, et cetera. So DCD owns where we're storing cars? No, Reebok owns the are property. They're leasing the, the, the leasing Reebok the land. owns the whole property. Okay. They're leasing the land. So right there, he rents it out. He rents the okay. cars. Okay. So who, who, what kind of cars do we have? Behind the fence, we we're just storing cars there now. Right, we're storing cars. Okay, there. so remember we had all this, all these questions about how, where how we're going to move the cars under the bridge, um, to what are we? What is eighty four? Eighty four Street. Okay, so that plan has changed also, because that's why we had to do the car carriers up no. there. Because no, no, no. We, no. 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 What's changed on 84? On this nothing. plan here, then we we're going to do the car carriers at 12-1 also. But we figured we'd go ahead and use the slot also. But it's just looking at it, it didn't make, just keep what we have at 12-1. We're all set up for it. You go in the back, you can have like eight car carriers at a time. It's all down there. The car carriers come up, they come in this, they come into the lot yep. on, on the first entrance, and then they go up on the middle entrance, and they go right back to Route 1. Okay, I'm, I'm saying, what's Morris Street? Um, Morris Street. 84. 84. Yeah. I'm, I'm goofing up my... So one of the reasons was 84 was also yours. Was D, was DCD, and that w when I was getting that approved, we didn't want any car carriers going on Morris Street up there. Correct. And at the time, we had 1201, and we had 95, so we figured, hey, let's bring some car carriers up to 95, and, and, and put them up there, which is, we got all approved, did a lot of work, right. a lot, a lot right. of work, got it all done, then we realized, let, let's just keep them at 1201. So when I did the A&R, Paul said, are you gonna use it for car carriers? I said, well, it's approved for the car carriers. He goes, well, if you're not gonna use it, I'd like you to come in front of the board and tell them you're not gonna use it, okay. it's gonna like that. So I'm, I'm coming back, like, like, I could just leave it the way it is, but Paul's asked, if I'm not gonna use it for car carriers, which we're not, come back and tell them, to, you know, to whatever. Cancel right, because we couldn't approval. bring the cars off of Washington Street to get to Moore Street. And, I mean, I I can't give you a chapter and verse, but why all of a sudden do we not need to move the cars from this corner of Pleasant and Morris, right? It was, it was, uh, How are we going to get cars under the, the same little way. bridge? That, that hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. I it's going to come from 12 Okay, all right. They're going to go, go, they're gonna go yeah. under the railroad okay. bridge. Okay. No car carries I, I, No car carries in the I'm just street. wondering if I'm missing something. If something no. else, if another no. train's we're, coming down the track at me that I can't see. I think we're taking no. what you're doing is they're taking less off the original plan I, than we approved. And, I and, get and I, since I got the A and R done, Paul just asked me to come in to clean up the car carries. If we're not gonna do the car carries on the property that Mr. Mark owns, can you take it off the board? And I said if that's what the request is from the town planner, then you know, because we're not gonna 
I can leave the a school. Good thing. I can no, leave I, it, it, just the way it is. I, I it's agree. A it's, a, it's a good thing. But, it's but a, I, I, paperwork, basically, I, I completely think it's a good thing. But I vividly remember saying, why can't we leave it at new to you and drive the cars up the hill so we're not doing the corners and I'm not running into a car carrier when I go to stop and shop? Well, recall, we had this ad nauseum discussion. In, in business decisions have changed, and then if you recall, there was only a couple car carriers at a time that could go up there. So it, it just the whole business sense doesn't make sense. Just keeping that 1201 the way it's going. People are there. There's services there. It's there. There's basically a storage lot. There's no one there all day long. Car carriers coming in. Better manageable. Less headaches for the building inspector. Less headaches for the neighbors. And so once I got the A and R done, once again, Paul says, "Are you going to put the car carriers here?" I says, "No, Paul." He goes, "Well, you don't mind? Let's delete it from the approval." <coughs> and it gives them the opportunity on the back lot for a separate entity. Exactly. Another business opportunity. So, so he, I, just, he just wants me to come in and, like, clean up the... I, I, I get that, seat. and I think this makes more sense. I just wonder why... Change of thought in business. Okay. okay. Joe? Looks like an improvement to me, so I have no problems with it. Okay. Um, this is a public hearing, so I'll open it up to anyone in the public. Just please state your name and address. Mr. Sad. Michael Sad, representing the uh, South Nord Community, 7 Hamilton Circle, Nord Mass. Um, I'm not too familiar with the whole process. I just read it in the paper. But my question is, uh, is on that plan how many more car carriers that are being distributed from Subaru, New England, down to the New York car center, are they going to have, because that place is now going to be a mess down there too. Because sometimes they deliver them, they put them on the side of the road, the shoulders, they empty them. So is there enough land on there to have at least three or four or five car carriers on New York Subaru that's on that print? Well, it's not on this print. This is just uh, 95 Morse. No, I know, but you're taking all the traffic from up there now, 700 cars a week or a month, and bringing it down to New Year's Subaru. I think Mr. It's not New Year's. It's not Subaru. No, no. Mr. Clummy can an answer that. I think, I think if I understand the question. It's Subaru New England. It's on its own. It's on, it's on its own. And then you have the parking lot, which is 95, which now brings an a and plan on it. All the cars, if it's still parking, going to be there. But we're going to keep the car carriers down at 1201 as there's always been. Right, so you, the drop off's going to be at the old school. It's all, it's, it hasn't changed. It, it, it has, but is there, enough room, is there enough room down there to, to candle two or three at a time? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I think that's, yeah, I think that was Mr. Sad's question. Yeah, no, no, you got no, enough no, room no, down, no. Down, at, down at new to you to, to handle yeah, it all. Yes. All right, next question. <coughs> Why is there an AR on that form up at 95? Why, why is there an a &R? They yeah, did that, though, a month ago or so. Yeah, um, they wanted to take the parcel and split it into two parcels. But couldn't you just split it on your own without an a &R? No. No. Okay. A&R? No. A&R puts it on the, on the uh, record, on the yeah, registry. For three years. Well, 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 what it is, is, is it's two parcels now. I went to the town and the... Um, yeah. Which one? This parcel back here now is, is uh, called 810 Pleasant Street. Okay. This is 95 Moore Street, this is 810. And, and the reason why I'm here, because like I said, the town planner said, you're gonna put car carriers there. And I said, no, he goes, well, I want you to take that off. Two and I was like, ago. okay, if that's what you want. Does that have frontage no, on Pleasant that. Street? Yeah, right here, I have frontage on Pleasant Street. Something's it's up. 810 Pleasant Street. Something's up. No, but is it like 90 feet or 100 feet on Pleasant you know Street? Is there enough land there? Debbie, I can only go by what's on the, what the, what the plan. Yeah, so it's, right. yeah. Yeah, it's really, it's, it, you need 54 pieces. You need 50 for frontage, yeah. Whatever, whatever the frontage is, is that what it is? Yeah, the lot does conform to the it, conform, it conforms to all the zoning bylaws. They wouldn't have been able to endorse it. They wouldn't have been able to endorse it. Exactly. So one more thing, while you're down at that corner for the planning board, if you could, I know there's some carriers that on that strip coming down, Mike, by on the right side of new to you, mm -hmm. there's a strip of grass that the car carries sometimes because it's worn out now. If the board can see and fit to maybe put a fence or some stone there so they, they don't start car with car carriers on the side of the road. On the uh, on the side of the curb, on the, he's coming out. Well, er Ernie owns that on the right, so yeah. that we don't want to get any car carriers on that. They've been asked to keep all the car carriers on the 1201 Providence Highway, and I'll bring that back. Well, no, I seen them mm -hmm. delivering last week, come put your cars on the right and some on the left. I'm just wondering if the planning board in their decision can maybe require a fence along that strip to say, hey, there's no car carriers because it's worn out. You, know that you mean by new to you? Yeah. I know that strip. It's around the bend as you're coming down the hill from new to 
Subaru, it's on the right hand right. corner. But yeah, since that's not, totally that's that's not this, we can't, can't do anything, anything right? right? No, we just yeah. you, you bring a lot more traffic down so, that one building lot that it may be prudent for the planning board to decide if they can put a fence or some stone or a guardrail to keep them from parking on that little open lot there. Okay, land, you know, strip of land. You call me next time they're down there, and I'll go down there myself. They're not supposed to be in that land at all. I haven't seen them on that land. On the right side? Yeah. I haven't seen them there. Yeah. I left my phone stuck. I took a picture today of one. On the right hand yeah. side? <laughs> Sorry. Right. Right. Listen, you, yeah. you got my number. I'll go down there. Yeah, I don't yeah. want them on that land. I don't want them on that land. Just make a requirement if they want. Uh, and that's it. I don't have any problem. We've, we've, it's been a long, good battle with Mike Clemmy and the whole group, but, you know, there is a lot of cars coming to South Norwood and Norwood now and car carriers, and, you know, we've got to get a handle on this. Yeah. Well, I think this, uh, Mike, this will help going back to the original plan, and yeah, it'll keep, I think, I think you think know, so. and it, it'll save, you know, in all honesty, it'll save box of money. They don't have to do the, the road work and the, uh, and the, on there, so they save a little bit of money, and they'll, you know, just drive them up the hill. Uh, which you know saves the car carriers from coming up that hill, making that left, and then another left to get in and and not back out. Anyone else from the public that has a question? Okay. Anything else from the board on this? Patrick. No, I just uh, so I printed out the decision from the fall, basically the modification as well as the original decision. So just to kind of highlight what we're going to do. Uh, basically, what we're on by the board, we we'll do the modification to reverse back to the original condition number 12. Yep. Um, and that would be that. This will require another signage of plans. This is a modification, so, yeah, so we'll have to submit an, another a, a secondary set of plans, right? A revised set of plans. Going back to the original set, though. Going back to the original. I believe... Or we, yeah, but we'd have to... Yeah, so that would have to... No, because the 84 is a separate set of plans. That's no, a I separate, know that, yes. yeah. But okay. For the 95 modification... We 95 modification would yeah. just... That was just a singular sheet showing the path that, that uh, the car carrier would take, so I guess we'd go back to that original plan of what it would look like. Somehow, yeah, yeah. we yeah. just have to work it so that the plan of record is the original plan. Exactly. And not this plan, not the... Well, it would have to be the... With the A and R. Right, the site plan we just submitted... With, with, yes, that'll be the original. Right. That'll be the plan of record with the A and R. Correct. Mm -hmm. Not the one with the the. The car carrier. The car carriers. Right. Yep. All right. Anything else from the board? Anything else from the public? Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Second. Okay. Motion to close the public hearing. Uh, what? You want a motion to close the public hearing? I do. I have a motion and any. Um, further any further discussion? Yeah, no. Mrs. Donahue, you just got in here late. How are you? It's okay. It's a wet night. So, and uh, we did, I know it's wet and you got here. we about to close the That's public right. hearing. No uh, if you have anything to, no to add or questions, okay then. I just then. think that this is a part of the whole picture and it would be good if, uh, if we put the whole thing together. Okay, so we have a motion, and I'll take a vote. All those in favor of closing the public hearing? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 5-0. Okay, how does the board feel tonight on voting on this? Is anyone ready to vote? Yes. No. You ready to vote tonight, Al? Can I have one one more? Well, no, we have to I'm go just going to Al. Is if he's ready to vote tonight, or you, or you want to wait? If Ms. Homewood would like to wait, I, I could go along with her waiting. I'm ready. I'm ready. So we'll, we'll take a vote tonight. Now you can make your... Why don't we... Uh... I don't know what my question is, but I... I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. They'd have to wait two weeks. All right. Please ask. I don't, I, I'm, it's still percolating. I mean, I, again. I please, we still have a quorum in two weeks? All oh, members present? Yes, two weeks is. Uh, May 6th. That's May 6th. All right, I'll wait. Is there, is there a town meeting that night? So, so the annual starts May. on the 13th. The annual's the, 13th. The special. 
starts, starts Thursday. Thursday. You're gonna go to Monday. Hypothetically, so we I should was going to ask set. you for something when I got you stuck here. You know, I'm trying to ask for something here, Mike. I can't come up with anything. <laughs> Let's vote. Okay. All we'll right. Go ahead. Tonight. Go ahead. All right. We're we're in agreement now that we'll 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 vote tonight on it. Okay. So, I will entertain a motion on the modification. <laughs> Major special permit modification. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. There's a second. Anything else on the motion? No. Nothing. Seeing nothing, we'll put it to a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? No, I'm aye. I'm aye. Five zero. Unanimous. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Clemmy, don't run away. You're up again. It's not a public hearing. Oh, it's it's discussion. It's so just a discussion. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you got to put a... When we gonna put a Wendy shirt? On. Okay. Oh, I will never no. see me in a Wendy shirt. <laughs> a lot of things in life, but that one. All right. So this is just a discussion. We're not. Uh, nothing's up for a vote here or anything else. We're just. Uh, just a request. A request, or uh, a, a, we're talking about uh, uh, the the Wendy's BJ's. We're talking probably about Sumner Street, I imagine, and uh, fencing. What's going on? What's the well, I've been in the town of Newark 24 years, and I take great pride in doing as I come in front of every board and mind our own business, do our business, and, and, and uh, always do the right thing by the town of Norwood. And I had a discussion with the owner of Wendy's and uh, BJ's Gas, Mike R. Joseph. He owns Newark Cadillac also, and he had asked me not to go against them, not to fight them or anything on the Wendy's, BJ's. He had enough from the neighbors, and they're all going. The neighbors wanted Bernie to get involved. Bernie's my brother-in-law. I don't know if everyone knows that, and I've been doing the block uh, representation for numerous years. And and I talked to Mike, and I said, Mike, the only, the only thing I'm looking for is I like to go from Route 1, the corner of Route 1, all the way down Sumner Street to the neighbor across from Ernie, and so we don't we don't see it and we don't get all the trash and the noise and he goes Mike he goes I'll go ahead and do that for you if you don't contest it you don't jump on the with the neighbors and I talked to the neighbors that's the only thing I wanted the neighbors were happy with that and I talked to quite a few of the neighbors and I talked to Mike and then as it as it went I kind of followed a little bit in the papers and, and Mike had told me he was gonna do this and um, then once it got all approved and got all built Every day, we've got a caretaker at the property, and he goes over and all he does is pick up trash from Wendy's, and I was gonna bring some pictures, but I forgot that. And it's, it's all over across the neighborhood, it's across the street, they put those little fences up, and I, I call him up, and I says, Mike, I says, that's not the deal. You had told me you would do, and if he was here today, I would, I would tell him that. And uh, we've had numerous conversations about this. And he goes, well, he goes, that's the only fence the board would let me put up. And I went, wow, I go, I didn't, if you would ask the board what you would have told me, then, you know, I, I, if you didn't do it, I would have went to the meeting, all the meetings, and, and suggested what we had talked about. He goes, well, you know, it got very controversial at the end, and I wasn't sure I was going to get approved, so I didn't go to the meetings, and I let my engineer, and I let the board work out with it. He goes, but if you can convince the town, and it, I'll go ahead, I'll pay for it, I'll put the fence up. I says, Mike, the deal we had was, you're going to put a fence up like I have a top-notch fence at the Ferrari Maserati store blocking the neighbors across the street. The bylaw says six foot. I think that's a ten-foot fence. And I went and I come in front of the board and I got approved on the neighbors. I worked with the neighbors and I said, geez, why don't you do that fence for me and for Mr. Block and for the whole neighborhood, for the noise, the trash, and, and it's just the eyesore of the whole place. And he goes, Mike, you've got it. And uh, then he gets all done and I get those two little fake fences up and don't really do much. And so I've been calling yep. Paul and Patrick down the town, and they says, well, Mike, what, what do you think? And I told them the same story I'm telling this board this evening, and they, the man had promised me that, and he told me that the board overruled, overruled him, and uh, 
<laughs> Tell you what he told me. And uh, so I said, I'd like to get that fence like you told me. He goes, well, if you can convince the town planner, Paul and, and Patrick, and you know, I'll go ahead and do it. He goes, I'll, I'll go and put that nice fence up. But they don't want it. They don't want that fence. I'm just going like, okay. So I've been calling Paul. And I've been calling Paul. And I said, Paul, what are we doing? And uh, he, he said that, um, you know, he's working on it, but it'd be best if I could come down and I could sit in front of the board and, and tell them what happened and, and my thoughts. And, you know, we're a little disappointed that they only get those little friends. And he goes, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. So I, I made some uh, copy here. Here's, here's, uh, here's the fence I have at Ferrari. It's, it's a really nice fence. Let me copy for everybody. It's a soundproof highway fence. It goes to the ground, so there's no trash that goes around. Where do you want this? On the right side of the street? Right where we're going. So on the, the first page that I handed you out is pictures. But here's the, I got this. And, 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 and Mike said he'd work with me, so he gave me permission to call his, his engineer. And uh, so I called Bolin Engineering, which is a very good mm -hmm. firm up in Shrewsbury, there, yeah, Route 9. And so it, they had told me from here all the way down here, he would put the fence. And so with the, with the dots are missing, with the red line is, is the only fence that we got. And, uh, and you, know, and I, you know, I just threw the red line in there. Is, you know, I, I know you have to get some sight a distance in there when they pull out of here. But, I mean, it's, it, it's, you know, I've talked to many, 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 many people. I'm not going to say any names. It's many oh, people are very... Ahead. No, it's not fair. Um, <laughs> I will say the owner and him have many... Have many uh, conversations about this and he says well if you can get the board to do it and so I talked to Paul and Paul said maybe it'd be a slight modification and that's once again Paul says why don't you come down here and you show the board what you'd like to see done and quite frankly this is exactly what I was promised would get done and uh, it didn't get done it's, it's just it's just an eyesore down there and it's, it's, the trash is all over the neighborhood and it's over here and I can show you pictures every day we're, we're um. picking trash up <coughs> It would be a modification of the plan, but I will, I mean, you know, Mike, we, this thing went on for a long time. These, I, I, I mean, we had six months of meetings, and I don't ever recall, I could be wrong, I'd have to, we'd have to look at the minutes, I don't ever recall us wanting less fencing This there. is, if, if, if the owner um, was I don't, I don't, I don't recall anyone coming forward and say I want to put a fence all the way down, all the way down. Um, I, I, I know, and I'm Mr. Chairman. And, and, and yeah, I, no, no, and, I, I understand. It's my, it's my fault right. because I should have been here. Yeah. And, and he, he had told me, he goes, Mike, you tell me what you want. And he goes, you don't join the neighborhood and the coalition against me. And now, all he this. owns the whole property, right? He, he owns, he, he owns, he owns whole the whole property. thing. So it's and, not a question of Wendy's or anything. It's, he no, owns no, the whole he, he owns the whole property. He rents it to Wendy's. He rents it to BJ's. And, and like, like what's the height really. of the fence you're looking for? Well, this is 10 feet high. It, it, no, but what's the height? No, it, it, that's, that's, that's a 10-foot fence. I mean, it's a sound barrier highway fence for the neighbors. I built that same fence around... Uh, the whole Ferrari dealership to you know yeah. be be respectful to the neighbors across the street from me over there. Uh, the fence works great. It's 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 a high level fence. And he had told me, and if he was here this evening, if I gotta come back and you want him to come back, and he had told me he would do this for me. And, uh, it, and once again, he goes, well, it was so much controversy with the neighbors and everybody. He said he stopped going to meetings and he let his civil engineer handle it, and that's all the fence they wanted. I said, well, what happened to the deal that you and I had about this fence here and with the trash and with the noise and it, it's just... I don't, I, don't, I don't recall, I don't know if anybody here recalls us wanting less fence. Uh, and normally, so, we're, you know, Mike, we're always fighting for more. I, I come in front of the board all the time and I listen and, and, and I... I'm and sure I at some well point we have to plant a few more trees in there for somebody in <laughs> bushes. Does that sound like something we'd ask for? Less <laughs> fence? I, less I, I, protect... I, I, so I, I had a quite a, a I, few conversations with this guy, and he goes, "Well, if you can call the town planner, I'll right. convince the town planner." And then the town planner says, "Hey, am I come in front of the board?" And, and, and I'm upset, and nothing, nothing. Is when I had talked to Ernest, my brother-in-law, and I told him I had this deal. The guy said when he got that approved, right. he would give this to me, and 
I took him for his word for it. All My right. brother in law is <laughs> looking at me. I'm looking at it. I go there quite often. It's yeah. just, it, it's, it'd be good for the neighborhood. It'd be good for the business. It'd be, it'd be good for every, everything around. And I know it'd be a little more money, but he, are, he said, he goes, if, if, if I go to the town, then he would so go I and think do it. Obviously, tonight we're not going to. I understand uh, that. But I, it would be a modification to the plan, which is, that's no big deal. Uh, mm -hmm. As far as you know, as, as far as bringing it as a modification, um, I think the board. Him. Patrick, are you involved in this at all, or do you know what? Uh, uh, a little bit. So, okay. uh, basically, uh, as you recall, uh, when the project was starting to get built, in uh, well, the landscaping was starting to get put down probably in November or so, uh, and they were looking to get their CO to open. We felt that the landscaping was not on par at all with what was uh, approved by the plan. Um, we gave them an extension similar to the McDonald's project over on Row One to have them come back in May first and you know go through another walkthrough and see if they are kind of up to snuff and back to where they should be with that landscaping plan. Um, we met, uh, I want to say, about two weeks ago. On the property, both there and at the BJ's property, there was some, a grading issue with the BJ's property. Um, basically, did a walkthrough, and you know they need to, you know, they go back in and, and relook at the height of, of mm -hmm. height of the bushes and go back and rehydro seed because the grass wasn't growing and um, look at the caliper of the trees again. And they, you know that's, I know Paul harps on this point a lot, and this is not something that's really a planning job, but it's uh, it, it's a thing that we definitely have issue with with some of these commercial developments and getting the landscaping that you know, we go through all these meetings and trying to get the best plan possible and sometimes it's not the case. So we still have the May 1st and we'll go do another walkthrough and see where they're at, the landscaping plan. Yeah, well, they hydro seeded in, in December. In November, December like, yeah, yeah, early December. December. So, uh, Shame on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, okay. all right, so. But in terms of the fence, I think, yeah, I think Paul mentioned to you, this is basically what he was looking for, just kind of a plan showing where they proposed to put it. Um, it is, I guess, a slight modification to that plan in general. But obviously, just I don't have the plan in front of me, but I'm remembering we do have the landscaping plan with trees supposed to be on this area right here. I don't know if that involves just moving them to in front of the fence, behind the fence, or how uh, the board sees right. fit with that. Well, why don't we, uh, well, the board, can, all right, why don't we have the board chime in, Joe? I just want to know, uh, Patrick, if yep. you or Paul had talked to this other gentleman at all, Regarding the, the, the request for the fence. The owner of the property. The owner of the property. Uh, I don't know. My, uh, Paul might have talked to him, okay. um, but that's not to my knowledge. Okay. But I'm, I'm pretty sure, he, you know, he's aware of it. Um, I think it's a good plan. I'd have to kind of let it, you know, kind of visualize it, go down there, look at it, see kind of put 10 feet of fence in front of me and, but, you know, I, Give Ten feet's time. pretty high. I mean, it may that may be, I mean, that'll all be in a discussion. But, you know, anything on nothing we're going to discuss tonight. Just discuss them, and figure out tonight. But did you talk to him about plantings this size as well? <laughs> I, I if did. you're going to put something like that, you got to put something in front of I, it. I, 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 you never, I would, oh, you I, never I, should have provided this photo. <laughs> I, I agree with you. I can't take it back. Listen, I, I, I agree 110% with you. I've come in front of this board many a times over many years, and I enjoy planting trees with... Miss <laughs> <Holmes. laughs> I enjoy planting trees with her all over the town of Norwood, but well, I never talked to the owner now, about the trees. So yeah. I'm just here. If we could get those trees, that would even make it better. But at least if we could get the fence, the noise is just ridiculous over there. I go to Rooney's house quite a bit. The trash is out of control. It's yeah. it, it's just not a good neighborhood. I mean, does mean that big warehouse doesn't, noise, that big new you? building doesn't block the noise? <laughs> no, when you're outside, you hear it all. And no, it's not, it's not, but it'd be just like the other side of the street then. It would look nice going down side. I, I, I Maybe we'll shoot for that. I, so. I, I, yeah. I agree with you. I mean, when I came in from the board, they asked to put those yeah. trees in there. I, I put the trees yeah. in and we maintain them. That's right. You get calluses from your shovel digging those holes. Oh, I didn't, I didn't dig the holes. <laughs> but I will plant some trees as long as she does it with yeah. me. <laughs> Any day. So I, I think what can, we got to do. Yes, you can ask a Absolutely. Thank you. Um, 
I don't remember them ever saying, we, I want a fence put there, and us saying no. That sounds like saying I want to give you trees, and I would say no. Okay? So I wish you would have come to us and said, I had this, but we can't we can't unring that bell. Just give me one second, though. Is we're business people in the town of Norwood. We, we kind of do our own thing. We're not going to go ahead and, and, and mess with somebody else's plan. And I talked to the neighbors. They, they, they pretty much had it covered. They voiced all the concerns. I had talked to him, and I okay. he had said, stay away. I'll give you this fence. Okay. So you're not gonna, you take people for what they're worth. You but then he's, then he's telling you that we said no. Don't I, put words in... I, I'm, I'm just okay. telling you why I'm here this evening. We'll ask because Patrick. It's not, okay, it's we'll ask going, Patrick to pull not, the okay. to thing. I understand okay. that, but I wish I, it, my, right. my problem, okay. you know, but you're right. I couldn't, I couldn't, that's, right. I said the same thing to him. I can't say the board said Tell no him all right then. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, so this plan is not done. I, I know that I belabor the point and my board gets annoyed and everybody gets annoyed because I nag and I nag and I go out and I call Paul Mark Short and I, and I drive this one crazy. They didn't do any of the stuff we asked them for. This is home with us on Mr. Clay's I understand. Problem. I understand. No, no, I like to hear this. This I know. is fine. I, so, I'm good. Okay. I'm so gonna, when, I'm you, call, when I leave, I'm going to call the okay. owner up and tell him. <laughs> David Hearn runs into me at Costco and I... I'm chasing him down the aisle with a cart, all right? So you don't hit him, do you? I'm giving it some serious thought. So, again, when I've asked you to do things and then they're not done, you wonder why. So the plan's not done. We can modify the plan. We haven't done any of the plan. Why am I wasting my time here asking for trees over here and they give me four little bushes? This, this is Homewood again. It, Patrick yeah. and, and okay. they're on that's that. A separate issue. That's okay. a separate issue. So, I think what he's saying, Patrick, don't know how to answer on the CO. That's what that was my they're, next question. They're on their, they're they on don't their, get they get their CO pulled if the landscaping wasn't done. That was the agreement we they made. They have correct? they have some other issues. They have to worry about the propane tanks. They, also, yeah. they have some other issues gone, there. Aren't they? No. Not, actually, no. Actually, on that there is uh, we we have uh, you know relationships with a lot of people. We had called National Grid and we helped them get hooked up to National Grid this week. And so the tanks are gone. The tanks will be gone. The are they gone already? Tanks still there. The tanks are still there. No, no, they didn't. Oh. They, 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 were, they were just hooking them up, so they could have hooked them up today, but we helped them get hooked up to National Grid. Good. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we did make that agreement that if the landscaping wasn't done as per the plan that we did, that, that we would go in front of the selectmen and because we let them have their CO. I don't have the letter in front of me. Okay, but, it was, but that was something yeah. to that. But, they, but okay. Patrick and Paul are on that. They're, they're working with you them on the You understand my frustration, Mr. Clemmy. 110%, but I, I believe they're only on a temporary CO. They're not on a right. full CO. Again, CL. we're they're beyond, the, beyond the, the question temporary here of the what we're asking. They're, they're, not a, they're not on a full CO. Let's, okay, it's not Mr. Clemmy's project, so you can't yell at him for this one. This is all we're she never yells. She just tells you what to do. She tells, just tells you she what to do. Does not yell. I don't yell. <laughs> you don't yell. <laughs> They'd have to turn it on the mic if I was yelling. Okay. So we will uh, we'll get with Paul on this. Will you will you see Paul? Yeah. Uh, you know, have him. I know he's probably been in touch with the owner because we have the other issues yep. up there. And uh, let's find out. Run this by the owner, and let's look at the original why, if why we did what we did. If there was any reason why we didn't approve a, a fence mm -hmm. or what you know let's find out uh exactly maybe my memory's going on me and uh maybe there was some reason but i don't ever remember this even the only thing i can think of is the beat line of sight or sight lines like or whatever but i i that can be handled so let's yeah. uh it's very frustrating when you ask people to do things and then they don't do let's it. let's move on then we'll go joe i just want to say i have no problem with having a larger fence and uh I, i'm I, don't, I want to speak for everyone else, but I don't see a problem. I don't either. Uh, there may be some reason why we don't, but let's find out. And, and Mr. Clemmy makes, makes a good point here. And uh, uh, you gave your reasons why. I was my, my line of fire was we had like 30 meetings on this thing, and, and this never in... You know, and I, and you, got, you never showed up at any of the meetings. And, and, I'm accountable yeah. to my words, so I like so, to think uh, when someone tells we'll me something. find out, and, and we'll, uh, we'll get a hold of the owner, and, and uh, we'll have Paul and Patrick look into 
you know, what transpired on the plan and, and if we did something for a certain reason and we see what we can work out and we'll okay. go from there. Mr. Chairman, if, if I need to come back in front of the board and... We, and, we, we will call you order, if we need I, you. I, you know, yeah. All my numbers, yeah. I'll, I'll be more than yeah. glad to come back. Yeah, no, it, it's... It will... We'll... Uh, we'll We'll uh, take it from here and, and contact the uh, the owner and, and uh, look at the original plan and, and look at uh, you know what's proposed and and uh, we'll we'll uh, kick it down the road if you will. Absolutely, and if you just notice, with the, there's no red lines. It's the two places where there is a fence. So this fence currently where with this, see the red line here. Well, there's, there's kind of on either side. Of right, 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 right. Yeah, the, there's there's, yeah. there's no fence there, no fence there, and it's, it's I don't know, it's, it's a. It's a pretty cheesy fence in my eyes. It's just not what I would associate myself with if I was going to put my name on a project. Yeah. All right, so we will uh, take it from there, and uh, we'll see what we can do for you. I really appreciate the time. No Mr. problem. Board, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Paul, we'll call Dr. You. Paul, call me, let me know. Okay. Yep. Thank you. I'm gawking around, Nag nagging everybody about there. The well, landscape that nobody does around here is fast. I know, but let's. Mr. Chairman. It's not. Yes. I was just going to say, just to back them up, which I usually don't back them up much with. Yeah, you a, do. There is a lot of trash up there. Whatever yeah. you can do to help them. Is well, great. stop throwing it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't go up that stop way. Yeah. Eating, stop, <laughs> how do you know? Stay, stop eating them frosties. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks. Okay, 750. Is John here? I think he is. I'm not, yep. I'm not a fan of that big fence. Unless he landscapes it. Yeah. We'll go. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff that's old. over, that's taller than the fence. Yeah. Well, he said he couldn't put trees there because he doesn't want to put trees up. Remember, because it was a sight line right. getting out on Route 1? No, this is not well, it, it, No, this is But if you, you go out this way, I asked for trees back on the corner. Yeah. You don't, you need 375 for, for line of sight, but you're not going to make turns that way, so that's not an issue. Well, you are. You're going to go across. You're, you're not making a turn. That's the issue. You're not making a turn here. This is Route 1. You're coming this way. This, this, you can't go into this. I understand that. What about the people that are coming out here and going to stop and check? They're on the traffic light. Right. It's green or red. But well, this won't block them? No, because they're up they're up further. Yeah. We'll because they got the sign there, Debbie. They, got the, they cut right. down your tree. Yeah, I know. I know. the sign. Debbie, if if this, I mean, you, we would have to get, uh, you know, Mark Ryan's okay for the height and the the thing on the corner and no, all of that. But I I begged for this. We okay. all begged for all right. this. So we'll 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 work on it. We'll take it. We're not going to figure it out tonight. We have to plant the seeds. Here he is. <laughs> okay, we have Sunset Avenue, John. How are we doing? Um, so I think that we're good now. Um, okay. Jeff and Mary are here. And um, we have an, an, is this the same plan as last week? We changed it a, a little bit based on conversations with uh, Jeff and Mary. And they had some conversations with their hands. Um, so. Um, The few changes, if you go to the slope over here where we had it mulch before, um, <clears throat> they're thinking that that's going to be sort of a maintenance thing, and so we're going to go back to it's, it will be a riprap slope. It's still going to have plantings, but as far as the actual surface treatment will be riprap. Rip so probably like three to four inch stones, something like that with, with the plantings. Uh, Still there. That's on the on the two to one drive. On the on two the... to one slope, and then um, Mary wanted. Um, we have ten uh, high bush blueberries, um, the darker ones here. Um, that'll be, you know, give her a little something to do, picking some blueberries. Uh, you gotta bring some, in. You yep, put some, yep, get some sandy sense. soil up there. Yep, yep. Make sure you have sandy soil. Yeah, we'll okay. work with the landscape. And so if you want blueberries. Stuff. All right. And then the other thing is, um, I showed five, but they asked me to put eight, or we agreed on eight um, arborvitae. And this is, you'll see the um, email from Mark Ryan. So there's five arborvitae. We're going to add three more. And that's just going to provide a screen for them looking up the hill here. And um, those will be six to seven feet arborvitae when they're planted. 
<coughs> and the um, the high bush blueberry will be one gallon, similar to the um, to the creeping juniper. And um, what did I forget? Oh, we put perennials. So we actually came up with uh, uh, types of perennials and and that they'll be planted 10 feet on center in this, what we call the homeowner's planting bed. So slope down and then there's going to be a nice level area that they'll be able to, you know, access somewhat where they're going to plant their plantings and their flowers and that sort of stuff. And um, did I forget anything? I think that's it. So I don't want to tell you what to do, but there would be three conditions, right? One would be eight arborvitae versus the five arborvitae or six to seven feet in the high bush blueberry or one gallon. So, You happy with that? That's what you want, right? If you are happy, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm really done. What about the trees on the street? So I added three trees on the street. It says remove existing. Yeah. And, and, and then these three, little white bushes are three trees? Yeah, three and London plain trees. What's a London plain? Um, it's deciduous. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's red, green, it's green. just a regular old tree. Yeah. Okay. And it's, um, what, two and a half inch caliber? Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So don't, we're getting don't three. Don't yell at me, but I'm going to tell you something right now. <laughs> don't, Jesus, don't have I've these never people, yelled at anybody. Don't have these people put in trees that are too big because they don't survive. Think about it. Go out in the forest, and let's see you plant a replant a 15-inch tree. You can't do it. So there's a point where there's, you know, okay. sort of a break. Is there point. something between two and a half inches and 15 feet? No. Or 15 inches? 15 inch, two and a half inches is about. If you and I do this a lot with, say, like Bob LeBlanc, the tree warden in Walpole. He doesn't want a tree bigger than two and a half inches because it won't. It's too hard for him to. Maintain it until it, you know, kind of gets going. That's all I'm telling you. <laughs> it's fine. If you want right. a four-inch tree, we'll put it. Well, how long does it take a two-and-a-half-inch? Now, this is a rhetorical question. How long does it take a two-and-a-half-inch London plane to go from two-and-a-half inches to four inches? How many years? Five, maybe. Five okay. or six. So if we start with four, we get to sit, we get to eight in ten? Unless it dies. I'll be dead. <laughs> Put that in right. I just <laughs> make that a form of a I wonder motion. which one of you was going to pick up that ball. So, you know, I'm not asking for 15 inches. I'm just asking no, for just something. Two, when a car bumps two into and a two and a half yeah. inches. Um, you know, they should be staked and cabled and nobody's going to. Shut up, what a Where are you going to stake and cable them for us? They should be. Doing right. They're in the, right. when they're, um, I, is it on here? We'll add the detail. So there's condition number four. We'll add the detail. That shows it. Could we I just mean, have a little, can I ask for a little larger caliper? You can I'm ask, not... Mrs. Holmwood, but I'm, to be honest with you, my, I'm going to go with the arborist. Makes what, a lot of sense. What they, what they recommend. I don't think it's a matter of dollars and cents here. I don't yeah. think they're cheap no, enough. I, I, think I, it's, I think so. Went to the nurseries. Yeah. You'll see. I think John's right. I think the the, the This is what they recommend. Do they sell? I'm not them? trying to be cheap. I'm just you know, trying to. You know, the difference. To plant the difference is probably gonna... you know twenty bucks on a tree. I don't think it's a money thing. I understand, but would a four inch caliper really be that much different in ten years? We're going to get up to what it is. What it is. What it is is it's I, it, the chances that it's going to die are much greater between a four inch tree and a two and a half inch tree. It's much greater, believe me. I have your phone number, John. No, mm -hmm. I'm not. <laughs> it's like younger, uh, I get it, I get it. Older. So, so what are the four <laughs> conditions, John? Um, the, uh, we're, we're gonna have eight now. arborvitae. <laughs> the eight arborvitae are gonna be six like feet to seven feet Young in height. Yep. Could handle it. The blue, high bush blueberry are gonna be one gallon. One gallon. And we're gonna yeah, add either. the um, detail for the tree planting. Yeah. It should have been on here anyway. Yep. And one more. Was there one more? I didn't think so. Perennials? No. No. No, that's uh, eight, eight arborvitae, yeah. high bush blueberries. Oh, riprap. We're going to do rip wrap instead of. Well, uh, I mean, these four things are not on the plan. Oh, yet. okay. That's what I'm. Yep. That's why I'm saying they're conditions of okay. your vote. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, perennials are on the plan. Um, you know, the rip wraps on the plan. All all of that is on this 
plan that, that I've now given you is the final plan with, if you want, a place for your signature. I stamped it. And that rip wrap will keep that uh, slope intact? Oh, that slope's not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. No, okay. that's, that'd be a good um, uh, addition to the slope. So you're going to have to Better than the mulch, because the mulch will, could wash down. Yeah, and, and the mulch has to be replaced or somewhat every year. So they're looking at, uh, you know, maintenance. Trying, to, maintenance. trying to make it less sure. maintenance. And that says that the chips and stuff are going to be removed. Okay, All the chips are removed. It's on there, right? Right. Yeah. Chips are removed, and then we get the grade back where the chips were removed yeah. with some common borrow, right? Some yeah. good solid material. We're going to cover that with six inches of gravel, right, and then place the riprap in the gravel. Now, are you... What's riprap? Yeah. Riprap is stone. Rock. Stone. So broken uh, up stone. You see them rubble? in gullies. Like a rubble? rubble? Yeah. yeah there's different so diameters. Rip, so riprap usually we just... It's sort Chunked of one size stone. It's not all... It's not... It's not um, concrete. No? No, no. no it's, it's, it'd be granite. Stone. It's granite. It's busted up into... Okay. You see them in gullies. They put it it's yeah. a, to, for water to wash so. over. Pull mm -hmm. into the wall. All similar in size. Pot all pot similar pot in pot size. Pot. Yeah. Retain yeah. them okay, all that's beyond that. Is okay. yeah. Yeah. Right. So Rip we want all stone. similar in size. The other thing would be what they call like four inch minus or something, which would be big stones and little stones and crushed stones. Yeah. And, I don't think you want that here. I think you want one and size stones. The big ones are in drainage. Um... We can work with some of the landscapers and with the homeowners, and sometimes, in fact, one of the first pictures I sent was this guy in Canton, and it's all like this purple stones, you know, kind of looked nice the way the guy had it landscaped and all, so if that's something they want. Patrick, do we need to take a vote to yep. get up? Approve the uh, amendment to the... Uh, oh, amendment to the thing. Okay, the $10,000 question. Um, the town is holding... How are we paying for this? So, as we said... We're going to take this plan now with, with the four conditions. I'm going to put those four conditions on here, or those yeah. four things we talked about. I'm going to get you the plans back tomorrow. And um, we're going to get um, prices from landscapers. Um, we're going to choose a landscaper, and then Mario's going to put that money in a bank account Beautiful. with my name on it. Beautiful. All right? And then the people do the work, and I'm going to pay. Okay. I'm Beautiful. Mark Ryan. Thank can, you. Paul, Patrick, Mark, they can all oversee this. Uh, I think the homeowners want to oversee this with me. And okay. we'll, we'll anything? Keep everyone happy. Anything, Patrick, anything to add to the plan? or? Nope. So uh, depending on the results of your vote, like John said, uh, he'll make the corrections. doesn't have to come back for the next meeting, but we can have the revised plan to sign at the Beautiful. end of the meeting. And I think that's Joe. good for and us. He, and he would be able to get started as soon as possible. Yeah, get this done. that's yeah. what we want to do. Beautiful. June 30th. This is Homewood. May 3rd. May 3rd. Um, we're, um, April 3rd. We're, we're going to... No, it's supposed to start May 1st. And we're it says yeah, remove and replace the guardrail where needed. Is that part of your purview or...? So to access this site, you got to they have out. two choices. They can work out a deal with the homeowners because they can't get here from Talbot. Right. Or they're going to have to remove some of this guardrail and work from the top up. And so that's going to be... Done, they'll replace it. Yes? Yeah. When you're done, yeah. you replace it. Well, right yeah, now it's yeah. broken. It, yes, yeah, some of it's broken. That's right. So that's, so that's going to be... In our, that's in our thing, right? That's going to be yeah. money. Okay. That's going to be... Okay. So it used. Got it. Yeah. It says remove and replace, but doesn't say broken. I've heard enough. Okay. I think Rob, we do what we can. Nothing to add? I have nothing to add uh, other than, John, I, uh, in all honesty, I think I speak for the board okay. and the town. And hopefully these neighbors have been happy working with you. I think you've helped us out here a lot and, uh, on this project that's uh, gone on and on and on. And, and uh, I think we can <coughs> kind of see an end to, the, end to it uh, through your efforts. And uh, at that point, I will entertain a uh, motion. The neighbors are here if you want to say anything. Are you you're good with the plan? You've seen the plan? Okay, uh, I'll entertain a motion. Joe, you have something first? No, I was no. Make, a motion. Uh, make a motion to amend. approve amend. A, approve the plan with the conditions added to the plan. That's exactly right. That's Still your motion? Moved. Still moved. That's second. Second. <laughs> Anything else on the motion? <laughs> Seeing none, we'll put it to a vote. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Unanimous.
Thank All you, right. John. Yeah, great. Hopefully it'll keep moving forward. I'm sure it will. Um, Can I know. ask John as an arborist one question? I'm not an arborist. Oh, right. I, I always wanted to play one on TV. <laughs> okay, right. Belmont and um, somewhere around the south end, they've started putting in new trees. They're a poplar. They're a form of poplar. I brought a leaf to Paul, remember? It's, a, it's tall like a poplar, but it doesn't grow as tall, so it stays like this. It's a great tree for townscapes. And Probably they're pears. Look, we have pear trees all over. Flowering pear. Flowering no, pear. No, we got them it's all not over a flowering there. pear. But it's a great tree for, you know, instead mm -hmm. of arborvitaes or, and it, it's deciduous. So that's a good thing to bring up with Mark Ryan, who uh, approves the trees. Yeah. Street trees. There you go. Mm -hmm. on that. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I don't that... Think that I, don't him a <laughs> I don't think that, you know, we're necessarily married to this. If somebody comes up with something else, um, you know, to change this, that, that's fine. Okay. John, that's go. Fine. Go with this. <laughs> Maybe a four-inch challenge or whatever. <laughs> Not a four no. <laughs> Thank you, folks, for your patience. <laughs> I know it's been a trying time up there and new homeowners, and you bought, you bought into this, and... and uh, this is what welcome to the neighborhood. Really yeah. Means. <laughs> Instead of welcome wagon, this is what you get. You get a you get a you get blueberry bushes. All right. That's right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Okay. Uh, okay. We went over Forbes Hill. Any other business? Nope. Um, obviously, special town meeting is this Thursday night. That's right. We'll touch base on that. Thursday yep. or Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. This Thursday. This Thursday. Special town meeting. Mm -hmm. We are four, five, and six, or five, six, and seven? Five, six, and seven. All right, so we will probably be up on Thursday night. Yep, so we had a, we had a motions meeting today uh, to go over um, the motions. Oh, what happened Saturday? I couldn't make that Saturday meeting. Saturday was... Um, I, had to, I had to work. It was well done. Um, I think it was a, a good idea by uh, town manager Mizuko to try to get as much information out there as possible. Um, attendance wasn't wasn't that great. It was a little rainy, um, but you know it's another opportunity if people at home are watching or community media and they can get a little quick rundown uh, before both the annual and special to see what the articles I are. And, I will say yeah. on that vein, they have been running. Tonight is actually the capital outlay. I, I'm here and not there mm -hmm. at the high school. They have had three. They having the next one is Wednesday night, and they've had they've had every department at the high school for open sessions to explain their budgets in detail and what each department does. And I attended the one for the light department, library, board of health, and, mm -hmm. and they are extremely informative. Watch them on replay on TV. Uh, they go into extreme detail of what their departments do and where the money goes and why, if there's an increase, why the increase. Uh, I th hopefully if people watch these or attend them, they will answer a lot of the questions that will come up at town meeting. And Wednesday night, I'll put a little plug in. They have one, the, if you're interested in the school department budget, uh, when this Wednesday night, the school department is going to go over there and budget, which... Uh, Are those live on cable? I don't believe so. He's, they're you know? not live. No, they're not. He's, I don't th <laughs> no, I think they're replaying, but they, they're replaying them a lot because okay. of town meetings coming up, so they get them out real quick. Um, all right, as far as our, uh, we have three motions at town meeting. Yep. The first one is on the uh, central business district. Uh, mixed use overlay. The mixed, not the mixed, uh, the first one is the. So yeah, the first one would be the mixed use overlay. All right, overlay, mixed so. use overlay, which will take up, I'm thinking, a lot of time. Uh, Ted Brovitz is going to. Do the Paul and Ted Brovitz are going to kind of work. Um, I think Paul might present Ted, but Ted's there to answer any technical questions. And um, he's got to keep it under twenty minutes, so he's going to have to. Yeah, we might have that. to ask for some more time. Our, our presentation itself is uh, we try to keep it within the time limits, but obviously we have additional well, slides they, for. Well, what will happen is people get bored after a while, and they they uh, lose them. They you lose them after. Yeah. But um, we we voted as we as we all know we all voted recommended for in favor of that. Uh, the second one, we have the moratorium. No, second one, I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry, footnote. is the footnote, footnote to the three districts for the... Uh, so this is the... Um, density? This is the change the density, of density. Change of density. Uh, for, I believe, six zoning boundaries. Six 
zoning, and we'll have that. Yep, and then the and that's footnote. Zone. That's for uh, in the table of uses. Yep. Okay. The zoning yep. gets the and then the third one is the one year moratorium. Yes. Now, are we going to have a handout or a slide? Are you going to get Sue Bartlett a yep. slide that will show? I'll show you show you later. Yeah, I, I, to, I will. Uh, uh, I'll stop him on vacation this week. I'll stop him. Okay. I think we need two. I think one where we need all the satellite districts. We got so yeah. I got one from. Um, I worked with Andy, um, Andy Murphy over in engineering to uh, yeah. get one to show. So I got the satellite dis the satellite accessory lots color whatever, coded in one color, and then the dealerships along Route One in one color, and then we have showing where the manufacturing zoning boundaries are, and so you can kind of get a good idea of where you're allowed to have. What's on up? the board? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna, yeah, yeah. We're gonna so be gonna throw be... I'm going to have Sue Bartlett throw it up on the screen? Yep. So I, okay. I you have a regular presentation for that one, and so that's one of the slides. It's just a good visual to see. That's you know, a very, and then we're going to have a handout. Are we having any handouts at the desk? I do not have any plans. Um, no. I, I but... thought that one on the on the moratorium that you handed out oh, to us. Yeah, I can have that as a handout. Absolutely. Well, I would have that as a yep. handout that showed where all the, you had, had the satellites the satellite districts? Yes, I can have that as a handout. And I will say, uh, I did misspeak at one of our last meetings. Judith Howard had asked the question if uh, we were parking any cars at Norwood Airport. And I told her no, because there's a private parking lot down there. I was misinformed. Actually, the Norwood Airport does rent a little bit of space at the end of Access Road to a car dealership. And the so, three, too, yeah. And the, there's a private lot there. Um, I thought what's his name owned that? Spiegel owned that. I don't know if he owns it now. It used to be owned by uh, Zoppo. There's technically yeah. two lots. There's two right lots. The access. airport owns one, and they they lease it to somebody's one somebody's car dealer. So I think it's so it leases it to Spiegel. Yeah. And then there's uh, Zoppo used to own it, and uh, they park cars but and that's they not dump an snow. That's not airport. There's two two parcels there, and I misspoke. I didn't yeah. know that the airport was leasing. A little bit of land to uh, at the very end there. With the one with the fence that opens uh, and closes. Whatever, the very end of yep, it. Yeah, yeah. Where they used to have that little auto body shop mm -hmm. there, it's long gone. Yeah. That's <laughs> right. name too? Yeah. So uh, so we're all set so for that. I think we'll be up quick because I think the first three articles are primarily money articles. So I think two articles, the first two, I think, will be. Uh, they deal with um, liquor licenses. Yeah. And then we have two articles that deal with, I think, Unpaid money bills, articles. Yeah, money yeah, article, they're, 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 yeah. They're, so I think we'll be. Transfer of funds or something yeah, like that. I yeah. think we'll be. Uh, or something. Yeah, senior and All right. We're asking everybody. The whole board's coming? Anybody who wants to. Well, the three of us will be there anyway, but. Uh, oh, it's great fun. welcome. Oh yeah, it's great. <laughs> Thursday, right? Thursday. 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 It'll be Thursday. It'll be Monday, What's probably. Time? Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. We probably won't go on till eight o'clock. I mean, it's usually quarter of eight before they get going, and then depending if uh, the finance commission makes a report first, if uh, Congressman Lynch shows up, he gives a little speech first. So, um, and he usually comes either at the special or the annual. He'll be at one of them. Uh, so he was there recently. Last, last I think that was some last year. Yeah. Did we just? Yeah, he comes usually. Comes tries to make it if he's in town. So. Is he running for president? No, he's <laughs> the only one that's not. And he's yeah. the one that Sorry. probably. And, <laughs> couldn't resist. And he's probably the one that should. Um, You're looking for a motion to adjourn. I am. Yeah. If there's nothing else, Patrick. No, that's uh, our main focus this week is the special. So that's uh, where we're at. Okay. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn this evening's meeting, and I'd like to thank our colleagues here this evening for coming out in such terrible weather. Thank you. I'll Sugar melts, that. remember. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Good night. Adios. <laughs>